my darlings. It's Robin here. Thank you for joining me for your daily spirit message reading for Tuesday, May 21st. So I had a song in my head and this happens quite a bit just when I'm approaching the time that I'm going to start doing your reading with the Starman Tarot card deck today. Hot stuff. <clears throat> I remember it mostly from the movie The Full Monty, but I really feel like something is peaking for you which means like it's really going to be like almost combustible like it's just so alive that something is going to happen for you that you maybe have possibly been praying for for a long time um so i wouldn't be surprised if today you started feeling like um maybe some hot flashes i don't think you're going through menopause or whatever um <clears throat> you're not getting sick okay i just want you to know that that is a, a sign from the universe a sign from source that something is just about to enter your life that you have been like come on you know so if you've been wanting to win a lottery, I want you to go and buy a lottery ticket. We do have the Ace of Cups. And you can see, oh, I have to cough. I'm really sorry. Hold on. Well, that came out of nowhere. But anyway, <laughs> so we have the Ace of Cups. And I want you to focus on what is going on here in the background. Because I feel like this is sort of the um, grace me with the blessings. This is like opening your arms. It's also like I'm getting... Um, like almost like if you would ever say in any situation, hallelujah, you know, this is that type of energy where it's like, whew, huge blessings coming in and you're ready to receive them. If you ever have, and we were talking about that yesterday, any sort of, um, feelings that you don't deserve something, you need to be on your affirmations and your HZ frequencies and, you know, there's frequencies. I'm ready to receive. I want you to really amp those up today so that when it happens, you don't feel guilty or you don't feel, hello, you do not feel like you don't deserve it because this is your jackpot moment. Um, I'm going to write that down. Hold on with the Ten of Pentacles. And I want you to just, and let, I don't know if you guys can see this, like there's figures in the card here. There's somebody with their arms wide open. There's this really hard to see, at least for me, because I'm a little colorblind. Um, a family here, you'd be able to sort of float your family through the rest of their, their lives. Um, with this big win that is happening today there's just pentacles everywhere you know just be open to receive them if you have been in sort of a flat line when it comes to receiving from the universe please find somebody that you can listen to about how to open for receiving or removing blocks okay that you have any manifestation blocks <laughs> Um, because they're real it does happen and it's usually tied to what somebody told you that you can't do I'm, I'm just having the worst possible shuffle of all time so you know if you're not working on stuff like that you know uh, unless you have the Midas touch already but you need to just keep on um, and again we have the princess of wands get on the same frequency that things resonate with okay um, and this is really important. You can see that there's frequency all around her. There's probably some music going on. She's got her arms wide open. We do have the universe watching you and, and just saying, you know, I really wish that you would believe in yourself a little bit more, you know, believe in the power of your creative thoughts, you know, your ability to manifest and just a couple little tweaks and you'll be able to receive more than you currently are and probably more than you ever thought was possible. I mean, you think of people that started with nothing that are billionaires now. I mean, it's not just luck and circumstance. It's the energy and frequency with it as well, okay? And the belief in self and the ability to never give up on yourself with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Just constantly calling forward your energy and I'm not talking about hey you're you're never gonna get knocked down it's like you just have to keep on picking yourself up so if you are in a part of your life right now where everything seems to suck or just ugh, nothing's going my way 
Just keep on coaching yourself. Keep on cheerleading yourself because not everybody has a whole group of people pushing them on, okay? So today could be a really, really beautiful day for your manifestations, and I hope it is. I have my fingers and toes crossed for you. <laughs> Bye.